How do I let go of fear? Well, it's nowhere near where you just were. So it's sort of about making the choice of if I want to be nearer to God or further from God, because that's all fear is, is a vibrational frequency that's not the same as that. So you let go of it a little bit at a time, but you let go of it by focusing. You let go of it by focusing somewhere else. When you realize that every subject is two subjects and on one end of the stick there's alignment with who you are and on the other end there isn't and so it really is a matter of choosing but law of attraction tends to hold you in the vicinity of where you are but just now you just relaxed and focused and flowed did anybody have vibrations moving up through them as it was going on it was so resonant with source energy and so our point is you can't be there and in fear at the same time so it really is a sort of choice it's by being aware of what you're doing or thinking when fear is engulfing you or enveloping you and what you're thinking or doing when alignment is yes yes it just seems that fear gets in the way I think fear blocks is, is what's blocking me so so often. but here's the thing fear is an indication of blockage it's not what's blocking it's an indication of split energy and usually by the time you would describe it as fear you focused upon something long enough that it got enough momentum going that you were then in the absence of your connection with source long enough that you were emptied out a little bit that's not ever accurate you're never emptied out but you've pinched enough of it off for long enough that then it feels that more dramatic sensation law of attraction and momentum are the same word so when you feel fear it means that you've focused in a way that is disallowing your alignment with who you are but that you're doing it long enough that there's enough momentum going that it's sort of got hold of you fear only means you've got a habit of thought going that your inner being does not agree with so can you pinpoint or you can speak it if you want to what thoughts you find yourself thinking when that fear is gripping you that the vision that I have for my life and for the future might not happen oh that's so good that is so good there is nothing in this world that we would rather that you feel fear about because what it means is you have a huge desire and thought in opposition of it feels awful it also means that you have an inner being that absolutely does not agree with that thought and when you do you're just hanging out there on the raw and ragged edge because you're not including what your inner being thinks about it that's all that it is it means this is the bogusest of bogus thoughts that's what it means but it also means you got a habit of thinking like that and as we were saying if you decide that you're not going to think about that you're thinking about that thing that you don't want to think about and the more you decide you're not going to think about it the more you think about it and the more you talk about it with others and the more they think about it and the more you think about it and the more you think about it the more you think about it you can't stop thinking about something you got to think about something else so it's really a matter of choosing the direction of your thoughts so what often happens to people is that they have this strong desire that you've been parlaying into that strong desire and it's valid and it's real it's in your vibrational reality we want you so much to accept the realness of this vibrational reality we've given it a name we call it the vortex wrote two books about it we want you to understand that it really is a reality it's not only a reality that will someday manifest which makes it sound future tense it's a reality that exists in vibrational form where your inner being is so when you focus in opposition to something that is real you feel that emptying out does that make sense to you that's the best we've ever said that this reality is so real and it's gestating it's becoming in fact it's ready for you it's ready for you but you've got to be ready for it you can't keep thinking in opposition to it and be ready for it and every time you do think in opposition to it you feel fear so you say I'm doing it again I'm doing it again and it's alright I'm doing it again my guidance system is just helping me to realize that I'm doing it again that's all I'm doing it again and then I stop probably not <laughs> but at least you've identified that you're doing it and you may be less likely to start it in another moment and gradually that ability to 
channel the energy and to accept the reality of, of the vortex of that vib vibrational world starts, I, I, I get better at that. Well, there are two ways that you can approach this and we're going to talk about both of them and we'll play with you on the second one because it's the way most of you prefer, even though it's not the most effective. So there are two ways that you can dissolve this fear. The first, and it's the one we talk about all the time is by sitting daily in meditation where you quiet your mind by focusing on something that isn't interesting like a sound in the room or something, something steady and by quieting your mind until you actually feel detachment, can't tell your nose from your toe. Sometimes you feel like you're floating. Don't look because you're not floating and it might bring you out of your relaxed meditative state. So once you accomplish that, then your mind is clear to receive the vibration of who you really are. And so in that meditative state, once you've accomplished that quieted mind, now the vibrations of your source and the vibrations of your vortex are available for your receiving and your body will receive some impulses. Sometimes you'll twitch. Esther can feel her face doing things that she knows if someone was looking, they would find it very interesting because her face is doing muscular things that she cannot dictate with her own mind. And she can feel ripples through her body. It's like a massage from the inside out. She can feel sometimes that the cells of her body are responding, are receptive to this vibration and this replenishing is taking place. And then sometimes, not always, but sometimes an impulse will occur to you about the time that you're coming out of your meditative state, that if you follow it, it will be beneficial. And sometimes you know it right away. Sometimes it takes a little while for you to realize it, but anything that comes to you in that receptive state is always beneficial. So that of course is the path that we encourage most, but there's another one. And that path is more about directing your thoughts moment by moment, because let's say as you're going through the day, you really, in most cases, cannot pull your car over to the side of the road and meditate or excuse me in the middle of a meeting, I'll be back. I've got to go meditate. We know that it's something that you can do at the beginning of the day, but then life comes at you as it does. And sometimes as life comes, it activates vibrations that are not conducive to your alignment. So there you are. So we say, take a nap, meditate, start the day over tomorrow, but you don't always want to wait till tomorrow. So these are some things that you can do. So we're going to have a dialogue with you because we want to demonstrate the dialogue that you could have with yourself because we know what's in your vortex. We know what you want and we don't just believe it. We know it. And so you can't say anything to us that's going to set us off balance. You're not going to convince us of your own insecurities. You won't be able to convince us. You're not afraid of my vortex. We're not afraid on your behalf. <laughs> We're like your inner being. <laughs> so just give us a statement or two that describe your fear. And we're just going to give back to you like your inner being gives back to you and follow this because you're going to find a tool that you can use for yourself. That is very productive. I just want to have enough, but I'm afraid that I won't have enough. Well, right now you're talking against yourself. So offer a statement that is less talking against yourself. I want to find joy in every moment. It's not logical to find joy in every single moment, but it is logical to want to feel better and better and better. Give us something else. I want to feel connection to source all the time. I often feel connection to source and it feels logical for me to feel it all the time because my guidance system has to work and show me what alignment is and what alignment isn't. And since I live in a world of contrast where I'm defining new desires, how could I have growth and expansion and evolution if I were unwilling to expose myself to something? And how would I know which direction to go? Of course, I'm not always there, but I like knowing when I am and when I'm not. And I've got that now. Now what? How do I know when to get specific with my desires? 
I want to be able to be so specific when with I'm my When I'm feeling desire. really, really good, the more specific I am, the better I feel. Because when I'm hooked in, when I'm tuned in, tapped in, turned on, and I get more and more specific, the juice flows from my inner being through me outward to what I want, and I feel powerful and invincible. But when I'm not there, and I turn on the juice, and I start trying to talk myself into it, like faking it till I make it, all I do is exaggerate the contradiction within me. So I'm there before I goose it up. And I'm so sensitive to energy that I know when I'm there and when I'm not. So when I feel like it, I will. When I feel good, I will get more specific. And when I don't feel good, I will be more general. Like Abraham is being with me now. Mm -hmm. More? How do I? All right. So what we want you to do here is rather than addressing us with questions, yes. we want you to sort of make your claim of where you are when you're in your fearful state this happened and I feel this way what's happening here is we're talking you off the ledge and we want to show you that you can talk yourself off the ledge now meditation is a much more powerful tool but sometimes when you're on the ledge in the day there are things that you can say that will soften it and then as you continue to say them then you'll begin to increase the momentum and it won't be long before no one can dissuade you I manifested a beautiful love relationship that ended up causing me pain and I contrast. had a contrasting experience that helped me know more what I want yes <laughs> Now see, you're leaning this way and we're leaning this way, <laughs> but you can definitely feel the difference. So now make that same statement again, because everyone heard it and you heard it too, but we're going to give it to you in a more general statement, which would be easier for you to take if you were really hurting when you said that. Yeah. You weren't really hurting. So you were ready for our statement. Yeah. But if you were really hurting, transport yourself there for a moment don't really go but hurt for a moment and we'll show you what our response would be then here's our response it's all right and you're doing the best that you can do and all of that is helpful to you no matter how bad it hurts and things are always working out for you even when they don't look like they are things are always working out for you and it just gets better and better and you are a powerful deliberate creator words flow easily through your mind and out through your mouth you're a really good focuser of thought and a really good focuser of energy you've always been more sensitive to energy than a lot of people around you which is really to your advantage when you start tuning yourself but it feels like a disadvantage when life just comes and you just react so these are your words I am no longer just a reactor to life I'm the actor in my life I'm the creator of my life I'm not a knee-jerk response to life I'm not just reflexively responding to life I am deliberately lining up so that more and more things are going the way I want them to and when they don't for a moment which is perfectly normal because I'm expanding rapidly and so sometimes I step into unknown territory where something new happens that I'm not really prepared for so I sort of take it in a very strong way now I know what to do stop and breathe and be nice to myself don't be so ready to count myself as not good at this don't be so ready to look for what I'm doing wrong and instead acknowledge that this is what the process is this is the process of expanding my desires I am so appreciative of the relationship that hurt me so much because I put so many things in my vortex so many things as a result of that one relationship that as those thoughts turn to things it's going to be a much fuller and more delicious experience than I ever could have had if I had not had that experience I'm actually thankful for that experience because of what it put over there and so this conversation that I'm having with myself it's really about me figuring out what statements I make regularly that serve me and what statements that I make regularly that don't serve me so that I can become a more deliberate maker of statements that serve me and an observer when things come of me recognizing unequivocally the correlation between what I was doing thought wise and vibrationally and that emotion because they always match up I always am in control and the more I exercise the control the better I'll be at it yes you ever listen to a trumpet player on the first day <laughs> there's no control in other words it's a horrible experience 
but as they get better and better and better and better at it they gain more control in the way their mouth fits the horn and in the way the wind blows through them and after a while they can make such subtle nuances that it just takes your breath away they can become so one with it and that's what it's like when you become one with your vortex and one with the source energy that is within you and one with your own alignment you see but it's all right to blow a sour note every now and again especially when you're in an experience that's new